What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I'm showing you Meryl's kind of loyalty quest with the Pride Demon, and there's going to be a cutscene here, so I'll let you guys enjoy that. Something is wrong. This is where the spirit was bound, but now it feels empty. How are we going to finish the mirror now? I don't know. I don't understand what's happened. How can he be gone? I happened. Keeper. What have you done? The demon's plan was always for you to complete the mirror. It would have been a doorway out of this prison and into our world. You would have been his first victim. I couldn't let that happen, Dalen. He didn't think to mention that the demon was gone before we hiked all the way up here. It's not gone. I couldn't fight it in the Fade while it was trapped. And I couldn't banish it without making it stronger. So, I made myself its prison. Kill me, and it dies too. Meryl will finally be safe. No! You can't ask the... I won't do this! You always knew your blood magic had a price, Darlene. I have chosen to pay it for you. Daughter, she... Alright, so clearly something was wrong. And this is basically the battle, and I sped it up. And it's kind of a unique boss battle, but I took the approach. Um, there's ads that are going to be spawning on the sides. And you'll just need to take them out pretty uh, quickly. Um, I'm not sure how much it really affects you if you just leave them up, but I decided to go ahead and basically kill all of them. And uh, it's it's very easy. They're not hard to do. And I'm not posting this just because it's a hard bot battle. It's really not, in all honesty. But it's just a it's a cool thing. I think that whole cutscene. And um, yeah, I just sped this up too because that really didn't even count as a cutscene because he was just like. Ooh, I'm spawning this big meatball, and I'm going to smash you with it. <laughs> I don't know if that's what he was saying, but I'm not sure with that uh, that blue kind of thing coming down. I think it did very minor damage. It was doing very minor damage to me. As you can see, the floating twos and threes. Um, anyways, guys, there's going to be a cutscene coming up here real fast. Darling. Keeper. You've beaten it, darling. You are so much stronger than I imagined. The demon is dead. Keeper, I... Let's leave this awful place. The clan should hear the good news. You told us that the demon was bound to your life. It would only die with you. Ira Balas Keeper. I don't want this! I never wanted this! Creators, please let this be a bad dream! I'll wake up and feel like an idiot and she'll scold me for not listening. Getting possessed never helps anything. Tell me about it. If she hadn't have been so stubborn, if she had listened to me, she never believed in me. I... 
I should go to the clan. Someone needs to know, needs to come and take care of her. I am not cleaning this up. Okay, so clearly Hawk is not cleaning that up, but um, you get a staff and a cool ring from this, and another cutscene, guys. We know the Keeper came here. What's going on? Where is she? Feneral. The Keeper. She. Look at her, Feneral. She's covered in blood. What have you done, Meryl? Keeper! Can you hear me? She's dead. I should have guessed you'd turn on her. You monster! The Keeper turned into a demon. We had no choice. There would have been no demon, if it weren't for this little flat-eared bitch. We've suffered enough because of this traitor. It ends now. Okay, so I gotta say, I did not really expect what is going on now. Basically, her whole tribe is attacking us. Just, you know, we basically massacre the Dalish, and, um... Uh, you know, I'm, I've been listening to the Dalish's accents, as, accents, wow, accents, and I'm trying to decide what they are. And if you, if you have a, you know, a better understanding of foreign accents, better than I do, because I'm American. But if you understand, <laughs> you know, like kind of where you think their accent is from, I, I want to say it's Irish, and I like Irish accents. I do. I don't even know if that was Irish. It sounded a little Canadian there. But, anyways, so, this is a vicious battle. As you can tell in the bottom left, Anders, my healing mage, is already dead. And, uh, Meryl almost died here, but I got her to take a quick potion, but then again, she just got, she just got wrecked. And, basically, the only way I survive this is by having a ton of potions. And, you might want to consider doing that before you even go on this quest, because the boss battle was really easy and then all of a sudden you get ambushed by all these Dalish and the battle keeps on coming guys it this was like a I wanna say a five minute battle this took five minutes that, that's how many um, guys they were coming and I'm sorry I left my Xbox on online mode I usually put it into busy so you guys don't have to see people coming online and offline uh, but um yeah, so it's just me and, let's see, who is that? Abilene. Abilene, sorry. It's just me and Abilene, and or Abilene and I. And all I did was just, you know, take some stamina droughts and health potions, and these elves just kept spawning, and it was just kind of crazy. But I'm reaching towards the end of this walkthrough that you're seeing right now on my own. I'm about 20 hours in, and... The ending is really, really awesome. Like, the end conflict is just so interesting to me. And I, you have to take sides, and it makes you, you know, pick this incredibly important decision. And once again, I had Bioware uh, making me care about what my decision was. And just gotta say, Bioware, you achieved uh, greatness again with this game. And you really made us feel uh, for the story and whatnot. So thank you guys for watching. Please check out my channel for more awesome Dragon Age 2 and Shinima Realm for my rogue walkthrough. Talk to you later, guys. Peace.